All right, big dog, we went from the Montana. Yeah. And since we're in it, yeah. we, we had to talk about the Montana High Country 377 FL. Yes, sir. I'm super excited about this floor plan. One of my favorites. A little deceiving. You walk in, you're oh, like, yeah. oh, it's a front living. But there's a nice little twist. Yeah, there's a great little twist. And it's you know, it's one of those things where, once again, Montana, one of the top selling high profile fifth wheel brands for the last two decades. Yeah. And if you're looking for something that is ready for that full time of living, you want something that's got like the molded end cap here with the tinted privacy window up front. Yeah. You got the beautiful fifth wheel hitch, you got the storage box, dual 30 LPs, drop frame storage, six point ground control. You know, Chris, you talk about the kingpin. That's something yeah. that oftentimes is overlooked is yes. the towability. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people get a fifth wheel because it tows better than a lot of travel yeah. trailers. And they take it up a step further by giving you the uh, the Rotoflex, well, used to be Rotoflex kingpin on yeah. here, the pivoting, yeah. head. the pivoting head. So that way, as you're starting and stopping your tow vehicle, it's not, you don't have that fifth wheel like shoving into the back of you yeah. or that feeling when, you know, you start off and it feels like you just slammed into something, you Chucking know? Chucking and bucking. Chucking and bucking, baby. <laughs> Chucking That's and it. bucking. <laughs> so this will help with that. Plus, you get the upgraded suspension. Um, yes. A lot of, you know, we have a lot of transport drivers that transport, you know, fifth wheels and travel trailers all around. Right. And a lot of them will always tell me how much they love to tow a Montana, how well it will tow down the road. You also got the hitch vision to help back it in. And, and yeah. yeah, you're right. When you got those 7,000 pound Dexter axles on here and they're flipped. They're flipped yes. axles, so, so you get a little bit more uh, ground clearance on there. You got those just gorgeous aluminum rims, those great tires, and the ground control 3.0 leveling system on this beauty. Plus yes, a sir. heated and enclosed underbelly. Yep. Heated tanks. Yep. I and, mean, and you can see the road armor suspension in there yeah. again, so that's going to have that rubber compound to help. And yep. When we talk about towability too, Chris, it is important on how you load your RV. That's something right. a lot of people don't think about. And we did uh, recently do a video on it that we have on YouTube. So if, oh, sweet. if people are interested in looking you know, on how they should load their RV, mm -hmm. definitely something uh, worth checking out. And while you're at it and you're at the Camping World YouTube page, give us a like, give us a subscribe because you never know what good and useful information you can get. Absolutely. You, you know, plus you'll also get the chance to see Ian or I do one of these gorgeous units. <laughs> with the beautiful smiles. And whether we're inside or outside, it doesn't matter. We're going to be out there doing it. That's and right. And speaking of storage, finished off in here. Plus, we got the magnetic anti slam latches on all of these all the way around. Great little storage space, large awning with the LED light strip. Yep. I, I, I like the high countries. The Montanas are great too, but to me, the high countries, they, they, they are a little bit lighter. Yeah. They're a little bit less. This one's 13, 5, 13 dry, but it's 41 feet, 11 inches. Yeah. So plenty of space. And once again, at to me, it's a couple's coach, but you got the room to sleep additional people if you need it. And you're absolutely right, Chris. And I do want to show the back end real quick. Oh, sure. But yes, if, if you need that extra space, you need the space to sleep some people, this one can definitely do it. But this is something else that, you know, oh, again, right we talk about storage. Not only do we have that big, you know, front storage because yeah. the drop frame, you get the side storage, you get this back here, ladder for the fully walkable roof, yep. backup camera prep. I mean, ready to go. This thing's loaded. We talk about sleeping a lot of people. This, this one, one can do it. do it. And you know another cool feature? Kev, if you can come around and get this. We got double entry on this one. One That's campsite, right. one off campsite. That is exactly right. How sweet is that, dude? Well, what do you say we uh, head on in, take a look, and yeah. show everyone how many places people can sleep. In this beautiful 377 FL. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man, this is what I'm talking about. Come on in, warm up a little, huh? The beautiful Keystone Montana High Country 377. Yes, sir. Charcoal it, accents all the way around. Yeah, and it's the thing I, I really like about this, it, you know, it is your front living room feel. And the reason yeah. a lot of front living rooms are so popular is it gives you kind of that, that, that front living space that reminds people of home. Yeah. You know, th this is where everyone can congregate, everyone can hang out, you have your snacks, you know, watching game day. It's just perfect. It is. It's a place and, to do it. You know, like we've mentioned so many times about these Montanas, these these are rated zero to 110 degrees. So four season camping, and, and I've, I've said it before. This, it, to me, it's it's not so much a fifth wheel RV as it is a vacation home. If what you've been looking for is something that you could set up somewhere, hey, I don't want to invest in a timeshare. I don't want to buy a beach house. I don't want to buy a lake house. I want to be able to go where I want to go, but have the creature comforts of home to go with me and the space and the availability to accommodate if I got the kids coming, the grandkids, or I know I'm going to go see family members I haven't seen forever, and I want them to come hang out here and watch TV in front of our fireplace. And to that point, Chris, I think a lot of people don't think about this. One of the things I love about it, 
you know, you own this, right? So yeah. it's not like, you know, getting like a, a VRBO or something like that yeah. where yeah. you have to pack up 8 million things. This is already loaded. You, your yeah. stuff is already in here. All your yeah. drawers are already full. You know, everything you need is already built in. Like you already put it in. It's and you don't good. have to worry about the hotel room, the airplane, who's been in there before you, what what air am I breathing, who's this guy beside me, why is he coughing? What, why, yep. are, why are there cockroaches on my floor? Yep. I've had that in hotels, by yep. the way. Yep, yep, yep. What is that, stain? Yeah, but yeah. exactly. No, no, it's like, wait a minute, did, did, yes. so, did somebody shoot a movie in here? Yeah. And one of those ones on eight Let millimeter? Me, here, here's yeah. the biggest difference for me between, between, st <laughs> between staying in an RV and staying in a hotel is when I'm staying in an RV, I don't check the mattress for bed bugs. True. Every hotel I go True. to, I'm lifting up the sheets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'm looking. looking. I'm yep. looking. I'm like, all right. You, you all check right. in the corner. Is there little red dots back there? No, no. Do I need a flamethrower up in here? <laughs> yeah, no, no. I'm with you. I'm yes. the same boat. Yes. But here, so you, we, we have the TV up, but you have that privacy window right behind there yeah. with the screen that comes down. And this is telescope and TV, 50-inch Jensen. Uh, I mean, just a great way, or excuse me, 50-inch insignia, yeah. with the entertainment center underneath. And I like how they got the blackout window right there to cover up the controls, plus a little component shelf under there, yep. side speakers, and you got the weave pattern splash around the fireplace. Yeah, yeah, I, I absolutely agree. And, and I love that they, like you said, they put in that windshield, or, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that front window there. Because when you drop this down, if you don't want TV to be the focal point, it doesn't have to. Yeah, be. Doesn't if you're, to. you know, if you're in, a, but like we are now, right? You're in Utah. You have beautiful views of the mountains. Yes. I want to be able to see them, and this gives you the ability to do that. Yeah, and you got tons of storage, frosted glass inlays. You got the opposing sofas over here, which are mm -hmm. big enough to sleep. I, I'd say, you know what? Because I cuddle with my wife, both of us could sleep on this. Now, granted, yeah. you know, we usually say one person per, but it kids you can probably get two on there. Oh, absolutely. And they fold out. Great camp out spot if you got the kids coming. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I completely agree with you. That That's exactly right. And and this is one of those where it's meant, kind of like we talked about before, for a couple, but whether it is kids, grandkids, if you have friends that are coming to visit, you have places they can be accommodated. Right. And, and as I always say, if you don't want them to stay, oh, I'm sorry, we don't have any extra sleeping. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, you, they, they, don't, they don't have to know there's a pullout. So, yeah, but you know, the difference between like the Montana, the Montana high country is like for here, we got carpet. Uh, in the slides yep. for, for the sofas. Uh, but you still get that bow floor linoleum. Yep. You still get uh, the color-coded wiring. You get the thermoplastic tough joints. You get the Coleman Mott Whisper Quiet Blade Pure AC mm -hmm. system up here. Yep. I mean, so you still get a whole lot of features. It's just oh, a little yeah. bit lightweight. Yeah. You know, And to me, some of the floor plans that are designed in the high country versus the Montana are more for those families that want to get out and camp. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you. At and least this, to me. This floor plan's no exception. We, we, you know, we'll get to the back in a little bit, and I'll yeah. show you where, you the know, twist. again, why the, yeah, the twist, <laughs> the absolute twist. Now, when you come down the stairs, Chris, one of the things I personally really like is this. Solid they extended bar. the countertop, solid surface. Yeah. I like they extended it and created it into a bar space. Yes. Uh, the, I eat a lot of meals at, like, my bar, my, yeah. my house, and yeah, so yeah. I love that they built this in. Because if you get, if it's just you, or you got the friends coming in, or you're not eating a meal, maybe you're just doing some snacks or having some yeah, drinks. Yeah, exactly. Yes, this is a great addition. LED underlighting. Yep. Plus, you got the solid chairs there, and mm -hmm. you got the U shaped kitchen, which yeah. to me, tons of prep space. Yes, and very the 70 functional. 30 bowl sink. Yeah, yep, exactly. Tons of prep space, lots of storage underneath. If you need uh, additional storage, you have all this storage right over here. So, you know, storage abundant. And cold storage, too. Yes. Yeah. If you need cold storage, I mean, look at this. That's boom, a beauty. Boom, 18 right? cubic foot on that Dometic fridge freezer combo. Yeah, I mean you got a ton of additional uh, cold storage in here for all of your, you know, uh, meat, beverages, cheese, whatever else you fish. need. Fish. Fish. I caught all that fish in the lake the other day. Must be nice. I did. Must be nice. I did. I'm lying. I <laughs> you, you know, you know <laughs> my fishing it was, talent. It was, it was this big, guys. I yeah. swear, it was, it was. It was uh, just, that's uh, a 10 inch steel. <laughs> If I've ever seen it. If I've ever seen it. <laughs> well, he said I didn't catch it. He knows I catch it. <laughs> oh, and the freestanding dinette. Yeah, yeah. Uh, legless. Yeah, yep, yep. So, and you know, you got the, the little bit of extra leaf in there. So if mm -hmm. you want to pull that out for some, uh, you know, some little additional bit of space, space yeah. you can have that. Again, they got rid of the carpet. Love that. They Absolutely got the, fantastic job. That Syntec weaving is so easy to clean. It is. And you know what? They could have went with just one that was just a flat color. Yep. But, but they gave you the upgraded with the pattern in it that really kind of flows along with this beautiful decor that we have in here. Because it's modern, it's rustic, mm -hmm. and clean. That's the one thing I like about Montana. Everything they make just looks clean. I, I agree. Uh, Chris, my man, I'll tell you what, buddy. 
I'm going to cover the back. You, yes, I got to go get on the you stage. You got to go get on yeah, stage. So, hey, look, enjoy this and enjoy the twist of the 377 FL. Big dog, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, buddy, sounds good. All right, so come on back with me to the back. There's a door there, guys. This is the, this is the twist I wanted to tell you about as we step in the back. A couple of things I really want to hit on. One, of course, you need a bathroom, and that is where this is located is right back here. Plenty of height, folks. I mean, you can be, you know, an eight-foot giant and still be able to shower in here without uh, hitting your head. Of course, you have the door on there, beautiful countertop, plenty of storage all the way throughout. Very functional bathroom. What you'll notice, right across the way, they put a door. And I like this because if you want to just come in and use the bathroom, you don't have to traipse all the way through, bring in all that dirt. You can just come in, use the bathroom, head right back out. So it is really cool they put a secondary door here. But where the twist really comes in and why I love this one and why it's so great for families and sleeping is this right here. You have a sunken bedroom with a loft up top. So built-in stairs with courtesy lights so no one's falling. You have the handrail so you can easily climb up in there. And up top, folks, we're looking at two beds. You have plenty of storage. There are electrical outlets and USB ports for both beds. TV hookup up there. If you're looking to sleep some additional people, this is perfect. And, and so the reason I love this is in my mind, this is for someone who wants the front living. You want to entertain, but you still want to have the capability to sleep additional people, whether it's your kids, grandkids, it doesn't matter. This right here gives you the space to do it. And then, as I mentioned, we have a sunken bedroom. So we step down in here and, you know, again, I'm about six foot tall. I just want to give you an idea of head space. So if you're really tall, you know, if you're six, three or something, you might have to duck a little. I myself can fit in here. No problem. You have the bed in a slide out, uh, you know, king size bed. So plenty of room windows on both sides, too. And those do open to allow for some cross ventilation. You'll notice shelves right up top. That's perfect if you have, uh, you know, whether it is a water bottle or cell phone, right? A lot of us sleep with cell phones. You can put your cell phone right up there. You have the electrical outlet so you can plug it in. Blackout shades, washer dryer prep in here. So if you need uh, or if you want washer dryer, that is where it'll be located right over there. And on the same wall, you will see TV prep plus inverted outlet. Now this one normally comes standard with 200, the, the 200i, the solar package, but you can upgrade that. This current one we're standing in actually has the 400, which comes with the inverter for those inverted outlets. That way you can run the TV even if you are boondocking, which is phenomenal. You also notice that the, the uh, chest of drawers right behind me here, plus because your washer dryer prep is over to the side, that means you get big, beautiful wardrobe space all the way throughout here. It's an absolutely fantastic fifth wheel, folks. If you're looking for something that is front living, but you want to be able to sleep a lot of people, this one right here is not one you want to miss out on.